There are a lot of dyes in Terraria. Some of them look like crap, maybe interesting, but one out of all of them is pure eye candy. So for basic dyes, we got a few decent looking ones. You can never really go wrong with having like the basic dyes, so solid mid tier. So then we got the bright versions of the basic dyes. And these ones just turn up the brightness of the dyes and that's just pretty much it. It's kind of the same, but I am kind of in favor of the bright silver dye because I am using it for my hot air balloon and I think that's a little bit of a bias. I'm probably gonna give it like a solid solid low mid tier because most of them just look a little off to me and that's 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 it yeah so here we have the compound dyes for the color in black type these look pretty sick some of these even remind me of Tron, but honestly, the brown and black dye? Who even thought of that? Why do you have to make it look like that? So these ones, I'll give like a solid high mid-tier. For the color in silver, we got a few decent looking ones. It's not too bad, but I'm not really too much of a fan. This is actually going to be my first L tier. I'll give this the bottomest of the pits. So we got the flame dyes next. These ones do look pretty sick i am not gonna lie they also have the compound alternatives i i really do like these these are pretty cool but they're not amazing because i know there's definitely something better lower mid tier mm, i feel like i kind of placed that wrong but i don't know so we got the the flame and silver dye these ones look like garbage for sure this is going to go in like the pits of the among us okay so we got the intense version of the flame dyes and I'm not gonna lie at all, these do look sick, but sometimes uh, you just need a little bit more, I don't know, less, you know, zhlum or something. Upper mid tier, the gradient dies. These look pretty cool and they're like somewhat subtle. I do like them, but they're not amazing. Strangely enough, I feel like I'm gonna put this in the upper L tier actually. Wowee. Next up, we got the more intense side of the coin. Is that a saying? I don't know. This is the intense rainbow dye and uh, doesn't look too good. Oh, upper L tier. This isn't the thumbnail, but in actuality, it's a kind of strange color scheme. Up next, we got strange dyes. So we got the acid dyes. I think I remember wearing these acid dyes on my character once. Personally, it's kind of polarizing because it's kind of strange, but I think it's upper mid tier. So next we got chlorophyte dye. With this dye, you can definitely hide in the shadows, but with that green popping out, you would still be seen. I think this reminds me of like a certain style, like neon green mid tier. Here we have the gel dye. It's an interesting texture. Looks more like a slime. It's good for slime cosplaying. It seems like there is like a little bit of an animation. So I think I'm gonna put it lower mid tier. Wow, so far there is nothing up top here. Nothing at all. Glowing mushroom dye. This one looks pretty neat. It has a nice color to it. Wow. This is kind of reminiscent to molten lava. That's that's what it's reminding me of. So that is lower mid tier. Next up, we got Grim Dye. This is one of the very few that has like a flame effect. It's kind of dark. I don't like it too much. I guess it's upper L tier, I guess. So we got the Hades Dyes. I have a bone to pick with this one because I think I remember getting so much of these. I used to like it when I first got it, but it's not cool anymore, man. Upper L here so here we have the living ocean dot i think this one is pretty cool looking look at that just take a look at that isn't that mesmerizing it's a slow moving gradient and i i vibe with it i'm gonna put it upper s uh, uh, not s tier so we have the martian die wow we look at that it pops the heck out i think you'll definitely find a use for it somewhere eventually so i'm gonna put it actually upper mid tier so here we have the midnight rainbow dye this looks super wonky i don't like how it's kind of dark 
It's similar to like the rainbow block, but I'm not too much of a fan of it. Someone out there would probably like the heck out of this. Personally, it's upper L tier. Okay, this die has a very special place in my heart. I think, you know, I played Terraria a lot back then. This die has got to be at least like somewhere in my die slot. The Mirage die, it's pretty good, man. I, I like it. It's not like, it's more of a love. And I think it's really cool because it doesn't like completely change everything. It's just a light, nice little effect. So yeah, this is the very first S tier. Yeah, you reached the point of the video where I, you know, have an S tier. So after this upper S tier, we're gonna go a complete negative on that and put this negative die in the most negative of the upper S tier which is the lowest because why would you even use the negative die unless you don't like the current color of the thingy you're wearing I think this is pretty bad I'm not too much of a fan of it because look at that the, do you, can you tell me this looks good I think this is just a little bit of a quirky die I think it's upper L tier the pixie die this one looks all right I don't have much to say about it upper L tier that was the most unenthusiastic take the phase die i'm not gonna lie this is probably one of the most sickest dies i've ever seen in the game i didn't even know it existed but when i did my research for this video i was like oh la la thumbnail material it's a super cool concept for a die but if you're actually gonna use it i don't think it will complement a lot of outfits so I think this is an I lower S tier actually. So here we have the purple ooze die. First of all, why would you even use a die that's called purple ooze? That sounds like lean. <laughs> this is the lean die. This is upper S tier. Okay, I'm kidding. I mean, if you're a big fan of purple, this is definitely for you. But for me, I like every color, but it's all right. I, I guess it's like upper L tier. So here we have the reflective bundle. These ones, I think I remember using using these ones like the most. It complements a lot of outfits actually with its various colors and I think that helps a lot. I remember getting so many of these that I eventually got to like it. So yeah, this is going into like lower S tier. Here we have the shadow die. Th using this, I don't think you will even need invincibility if you're in the dark, but this one is actually an upper S tier because it's a good die. I think I'm gonna get demonetized for saying die so much even though it's it's not the type of die. The, 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 the. So here we have the shifting sands die. If you live in a desert and uh, you're a big fan of desert with it being dry and hot and uh, annoying sometimes, I think you'll really like this one. Personally, I think this is pretty decent. So I'm going to put it in lower mid tier. Okay, here we have Skiff's blood. This one is a pretty hard one to get because you get it after defeating the moon lord. I mean, honestly, I think this is a pretty cool looking die. Look at that. You can't tell me that doesn't look at least half decent, right? It's like you're staring into the galaxy. Hmm. I think a lower S tier, actually. That's why that die. I think this one looks really cool. Look at that, man. If you move, like, it's like you're looking through a looking glass. It's like you're seeing another dimension through this bunny right here. Honestly, upper, upper S tier. So we got the Wisp series. These guys look so overbearing. The color scheme seems like one of those games that have like a limited color palette and that's like how they're getting away with stuff. They look pretty dope and I and I definitely do think you'll find a use for them because I'm using Wisp Die for my heebie-jeebies. I think I'm gonna put this in upper mid tier. That seems right. So here we have the Lunar Dies. These are end game dies so they have to be good and I do gotta say, they deliver. Like, I think the one that carries this one the most is like Stardust, Vortex, and Nebula. The Solar Die looks a bit goofy. I don't really like how it looks, but the Nebula Die and Vortex Die, I mean, Stardust just looks like diamonds. If Terraria had diamonds, I mean, it, it does have diamonds, but in like the Minecraft sense, okay? The Minecraftly speaking, I think I'll give this a upper mid tier. So we have the Shifting Pearl Sand Die. This one looks really interesting, so I think I'm just gonna have to bump this one up. The Bloodbath Die. 
if there was just an actual blood moon happening and you happen to be like near a pond and you just said oh you know what i think it's time for a swim i think this will be the end result upper mid tier Ooh, i think this one's spicy actually we have the fog bound die if you need a little bit of a gray tint on your accessory i think this die got you covered man so i think i'm actually gonna put it in lower s tier that feels right even though it's not really matching with my current grip so here we have the prismatic die you know at first i really did think this looked like a sick die i thought this die was really really cool looking i used to like it but now it just looks weird yeah if you take like a hallucinogen this is what you're gonna see i think i'm gonna put it in the l tier okay i think we have another s tier in our midst because this one looks sick, dude. If your drip supports it, I think this one will look so cool. I think this is actually like an S upper S tier. 